Okay, so the first step in customizing shoes is you want to take the laces out and prepare the shoes to be painted. The second step is we're going to be taking acetone and take off the factory finish off the shoes. So when we do paint the shoes, the paint will stick and adhere. So the colors we'll be using today is beige, chili red, cream, navy blue, and gray. So the custom I'm doing today is a Burberry design on these Air Force Ones. So when you first start off painting the shoe, you want to do light, even coats. So one of the most important things you need to have while customizing shoes is a heat gun or a blow dryer. I use my mom's blow dryer and blow dryers are really good because it helps speed up the drying process. The next step in this custom is I'm going to paint the other half cream. I'm going to do about two to three coats. Flex. I just want to win. Yeah. LABB who we running with. Yeah. In order to make this Burberry design, I had to cut out little pieces of tape then to put on the shoe to add like the gray, the blue, and then the red later on. Pain, stripping and dipping in base, slab on everything. Swimming, you shaking away, cause I got big racks coming, I put my low racks on it. I ain't skip past losses, I had to get back off it. See the fit lab on it until they whip my coffin. Money clip, I tossed it, I heard it's big. So a rule of thumb when you're customizing is you can add darker colors right over top of light colors. Like I know some people wondering, oh, why he just ain't leave space for the gray? Well, you can just paint right over the brown with the gray. On 10 again, pump up the action. I'm active. If he never heard of Ben Dope, he just napping. Jackson's off the rapping. Keep it on my body, bitch. I'm broke if you ask it. Don't gotta sell him, most of y'all is flawless. Broken whips as long as it is foreign. Heard you wanna cause the game's enormous. What's in the she isn't gorgeous? Live my life, last name of Morgan Freeman. Trying to touch a forest. Do not know we're knocking on the door. Just came in, I came in, I came in. Did it like the Porsches. I'm in there. Yeah. Okay, now it's time to lay down the navy blue. And just like the other colors, we wanna take our time and use thin, light coats. I'm on 10 again. Okay, alright. Coming in, yeah, flex, I just wanna win, yeah, LA BB who we running with, yeah, 2, 2, 3, 3, I'm on 10, 10, 10, yeah. Okay, so the next step is we're gonna be using chili red to do a red line down the shoe and then across the shoe. So the toe box is all finished. Now we're gonna do the same thing to the check on the side that we did on the toe box. So when you 
out in details like this, it's good to have a small detail brush or even a toothpick to apply the paint onto the shoe. The last step in this custom is applying the matte finisher which you can use with a paintbrush. So you guys, the first step you want to do is prep the shoes. That means you got to take the laces out and then you also got to prep the leather. So you guys, this is acetone and acetone is used to take the factory finish off the shoes. You do not see it, but it's factory finish on the shoes. So when you take it off and you paint, the paint will stick to the shoes and it'll be no crack. So you guys, now we're on the next step. Now it's part all about, uh, I can't even talk. Now it's all about designing. And what I usually do is I go on Google, then I type in custom Jordan one, because we're doing Jordans today. And I just look to find other inspiration out there. You know what I'm saying? I just look to see what other artists have, you know, done in the past or, you know, anything recent. And, and then I just get inspiration from them because as artists, we get inspiration from other artists, you know? Um, just like music artists, they get inspiration from other people. That's why they use samples. First, inspire other artists to create art. And that's what we do. We create art. Let's go. So you guys, so we just gonna scroll through here and we just gonna keep looking to see, you know, something cool. Um, you know, this is pretty cool. This is on Pinterest. I like, you know, this Jordan one, plain looking, but then the back, they got all the crazy doodles in it. And that's, that's, that's actually heat. I like that. Um, we have this one, we got camo, and that's pretty cool too. Um, that is pretty cool, I like that as well. Um, we got this one, this is just crazy. Oh, this is a, it's an Etsy lesson though. Um, man, that, that is so crazy. Like whoever, whoever the artist is on this one, they did a great job. Like, man, that is wild. Look at that. Um, so we go off of that and we just keep looking. And then, so that's the thing is, what you wanna do is you just wanna find something that you think you
tell you guys this is the last step what you want to do is just make sure you go over the raw edges around the shoe I mean you got some at the toe then you got some around the check then you got some on the side you want to go over the raw edges just to make the shoe look a lot more professionally done This is the final look and it's very simple. And the only thing I left out the video was the finisher. So you can- Let's go. So y'all already know the first thing you gotta do, you gotta prep them bad boys, you get me? You gotta take the acetone, take your cotton balls, you gotta go around, you gotta wipe all that factory finish off the shoe. Little do people know, it's factory finish on the shoe. So after they make it, they put like this clear coat that you do not see, so it like help protect the shoe, but you gotta take that off, especially when you're using Posca pen. So you guys, now we're gonna look for the design. You know, we go Firefox, always go Firefox, never Google Chrome. Forget Google Chrome. Um, I know I said that a little too fast, but yeah, Firefox, and we're gonna type in custom Air Force One. See, I already got it up, custom Air Force One. And we're gonna be looking for like I, I think we're doing camo. Yeah, let's make it easy. Camo. Bait. Can't never go wrong with bait. Look at these colors. Ooh, okay. That's pretty tough. And we could do that. That color scheme. I love that color scheme. Uh, purple. Purple would have went hard too. But nah, this color scheme right here goes stupid. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, snap. <laughs> no, I'm just play. But yeah, we're gonna go with that blue color scheme. We'll teach y'all how to do the Posca pins. Let's get it. So, in order to use these Posca pins, it is like, you're gonna get a pins, you're gonna get your pins when you click the link in the description below and buy them. It's not gonna have no paint at the bottom. So what you gotta do is you gotta like shake it and then you gotta like press down so the paint can come all the way down to the end of the uh, of the little tip right there on the Posca pin, right? Yeah. Dude, what am I, yeah, the tip, yeah, of course. What? Yeah, so. You wanna just press that, you wanna take a notebook and you wanna just like, you know, test it out, see if it's working, and then you wanna just go over the shoe. Just color like you used to color back in the day, like on a, on you know when you was a kid on a coloring book. Just go over it lightly, lightly, lightly. Go over it lightly. Do not press down hard because the paint will go everywhere on the shoe. Do not press down hard. So do it lightly all over. And we gotta do two coats. You know what I'm saying? We gotta do two coats. And we gotta take a heat gun or a blow dryer, blow it. I said blow. Yeah, blow it in between the set. The I was gonna say sets the coats. And then, you know what I'm saying? And after that, you know what I'm saying? We, we done for the first part already.
So this camo design, it get a little tedious because we got to just color it. What I say is use an image you get from somewhere else and just look at it and just make little, you know, squiggly lines. That's all I'm doing. And I'm using two different colors. So I got a base coat color, which is that light blue. And then I got two like other shades of blue. You get what I'm saying? So it makes sense when you're doing it. And that's all I'm doing. I'm taking my time. I'm just coloring in. I'm drawing it out and then coloring in. And then I'm taking a blow dryer going right over top of it. Then I'm just coloring again. And we're going to do this until, you know, we got the toe box filled up. We got the check filled up. And we good. We Gucci. <laughs> Camo, my favorite colorway camo. So y'all already know the first step. We gotta take those laces out. Do not, when I, when I say do not customize shoes with your laces in, don't do it. Even though you may not even use like the different parts on the shoe where the laces are, you, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like that part right there when I'm taking the shoestrings out. Do not customize shoes with the shoestrings in there. Don't do it please okay you guys so the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna take this exacto knife and we are going to cut the swoosh off why are we doing this because it's gonna be all a part of the custom so this is how you really cut the swoosh off off any shoe jordan one air forces nike blazers this is what you do you find the threading just like just as i'm doing it and you want to just take your your uh, exacto knife and go right under the threading exactly how i'm doing it <clears throat> I'm sorry, I got a little, a little raspy in my voice. <laughs> but this is what you want to do is you want to just get under that thread. It's going to take a little time because like me, I'm struggling a little bit, but I'm making I'm making progress. You, you're going to see. Just get under it. And then after, after you got it, you can just get under the swoosh and then you can just start taking it really off. <laughs> Okay, you guys, that was a challenge. I'm not gonna lie to you, that was a challenge getting that off. So now what we're gonna do is we're taking some tweezers and what you wanna do is just pull up the extra thread that, that's left behind. Just wanna pull it up. I know, I know it's gonna take a little time, but it's okay. Cause the custom we're gonna do today is gonna be fire and we gotta take all the necessary precautions. So that's all, that's all I'm doing right now is just taking that threading up. It's a little difficult, but I just gotta keep at it and keep at it and keep at it. <laughs>
Okay, you guys, another step is we have to take like a lighter. I got this lighter right here. And basically, what I'm gonna do to this lighter is basically just take like, just light it up, take the flame, and just kind of just go over it. Not close to the shoe at all, but just go over it so it can get like all the little excess thread that it could not pull up. So it can kind of just like go all the way down because we do not want to paint and it's threading still popping up. So that's all I'm doing right here. And for this, honestly, you just don't want to really go near the shoe. I know it looks like I'm going near it, but you don't want to go too near it, okay? So you already know, after all those steps, we have to acetone down the shoe. We have to take the factory finish off the shoe. You already know what acetone I use. I use this 100% acetone and use this one, let Angela's prepare it and the glazer. I will put links in the description below for both of them, but make sure you prep the shoe. And what's crazy is, later on in the video, I actually take this swoosh off too, as I'm um, customized, because I was like, I'm gonna do it like two different color, two different ways, basically. Okay guys, so now we're about to use our color. The color I'm about to use is Great 5 Purple. Like this purple right here is what I'm about to use, but I'm also about to add some flat white to it to make it like a different type of shade of purple. And the thing about it is like, you have to just like keep like retrying and doing it over and over. See this shade right here is not what I want. So now I have to go back in and keep adding purple, keep adding white, just to get like that perfect shade that I do want because in this custom, I need a right color purple. And y'all see later on the custom exactly what purple I'm going for too as well. So you guys, I'm painting very light coats. That's the thing, very light coats. Now I'm just brushing like real fast. Cause that's, that's what you have to do is just like, the brush strokes gotta be quick. They gotta just be fast so like the paint would just go everywhere. Cause you don't want paint like globbed up and all in one. That's why you see me like like stroking. Wait, hold on. Well, you see me like painting. <laughs> that was a joke right there. You see me painting like really like like really fast. Like the strokes are really quick because that's that's what you have to do, honestly. And, you, and it has to be very light because you're gonna do multiple coats. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so now we're gonna about to use flat black. We're about to use this on the other side. It's gonna be like a two-tone shoe. And you just gotta see like the final result of it because it's gonna look pretty dope. I'm doing one shoe purple, one side purple and other shoe black. But just keep watching the video to see exactly how these gonna come out.
Writing up a check, I might do it again Enemies close, have me thinking they're friends Ten toes down, I'll be free until the end Crib outside the city, I don't feel safe in my hands Took so many years, I'm just waiting for the wins I'm in debt to no one but the one who took my sins I do it for real, there's no reason to pretend If I do it once, I'll do it again Add it up, add it up. Bankroll, bankroll, euro, euro, peso, peso. Add it up, add it up. I'm just doing me. Everything is on me. Oh, you matter what? Add it up, add it up. Bankroll, bankroll, euro, euro, peso, peso. Add it up. I'm just doing me. Everything is on me. Oh, you matter what? Add it up. Told her if it's all me, everything is on me. Going back it up. Matter what? Told you I'ma do me. Why you hating on me? It's not adding up. Do roll like a Mack truck, country heart. I'm a cop of farm and go act up. Lot of scars, I was cold hearted, now I'm backed up. Keep it real, I do this once a month. I don't rap much. I just take the money and go stack up. Only buying car heart, car car, take it tatted up. All that other bull, it don't matter much. You only climb me, I put the ladders up. No fault, I done doubled up on the workload. I think I fell in love with the bankroll. Pray up, get money, then we lay low. Then we lay low. Add it up, add it up. Okay guys, so one of the last final steps, actually this is the last step, really is to take your matte finishers. So we got the duller and we got the matte acrylic finisher. What I usually do is I usually mix the two together because if you just put the matte finish on there by itself, it's going to be really shiny. You don't want to go for a shiny look. You want to go for like a factory finished look. So that's why I mix like the duller and the matte together. <laughs> Enjoyed today's video, the Valley Suns custom Nike Blazers. Let me today's video without that being said. Let's go. So you guys, we are about to get into these vans. This is the perfect fabric shoes so I can teach y'all how to actually paint them. Let's get it. So you guys, a cool thing about Vans, by the way, is they give you a sticker as like the shoe tag. That is so cool. I know some people do. I know some people know it, but other people do not know it. And I definitely keep the sticker. Definitely keep the sticker. So you guys, when I paint Vans, I really like to like stuff like the top of the toe because you don't want it flimsy. You don't want it flimsy at all. So what I like to do is I take Walmart bags, Dollar General bags, any grocery bags and just stuff the toe. You can do this with anything though. And that's right before I paint though. So you guys, we need to tape up the midsoles and y'all already know what I'm going with. I'm going with the all red vinyl tape. The best tape in the game. So you guys, this is called GAC 900 and this is what you're gonna need to use if you need to paint fabric shoes. So you have to mix this in with the paint, but I will definitely show you. So now we got Angela's blue paint and we got Angela's flat white paint. 
and show you guys what I'm gonna do. I got this container right here um, from the kitchen. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in the blue paint, Angela's blue paint. All right, come on, screw the top off, screw it. All right, and we're gonna pour a little bit in there. I'm supposed to do accurate measurements, but you guys, I'm eyeballing it, you know what I'm saying? I've been kind of doing this for a little minute, even though it's not the best way to do it. I've been doing it for a little minute, so <laughs> it's like I can eyeball it. Okay, so now I'm taking, I'm screwing off the flat white paint and putting that in there too, because I want the blue to be a little lighter. Um, then, then coming straight off, like straight out the bottle. And uh, it just helps. And then I'm putting some GAT 900. You're supposed to do like a 50-50 ratio, but I'm just eyeballing it. And then I'm going to start mixing it up. I said mix it up. What am I saying? Shake it up. Shake it up and mix it all together. So you guys, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. As I was doing this video, I was eyeballing it and I can just tell that it needs a little bit more paint and a little bit more GAT 900. So that's what I did. I add a little bit more and then I'm just mixing it up with the Q-tip. And now I'm ready to actually start painting the shoe. And let me tell y'all about painting fabric. Painting fabric, you just wanna just take your time and do very, very light coats. Now, the thing about the GAT 900 and the, um, and the paint, when you mix it together, it makes the paint a little more thinner, a lot more thinner. So. When you're painting, just allow the paint to kind of like just spread on its own. That's what I do. And I had to learn it. It took, it took me a couple tries to learn it. So just take your time, do very light coats. It's like the paint, it's gonna take time for you to actually paint everywhere. That's the thing with fabric. When you paint on leather, it's, it's easy for the paint to like, you know, get all over the part that you're painting. But with fabric, you just gotta take your time and just, and just do very light thin coats. So you guys, we finished painting the tongue and I'm doing like a little test and it's not stiff at all. I mean, like I'm moving the tongue around, I'm pressing on the toe box, it's, it's fine. And that's, the, that's exactly what you want right there.
show you guys. I was going with the LA Dodgers theme. Um, so I wanted to put on the LA Dodgers stencil and I'm just coloring in with flat white. I'm gonna just do a couple coats until it's really, really white. But yeah, I thought this was a cool add on just to, you know, make it look super clean. So you guys, there we have it, LA Dodgers van. So you guys, I hope you're excited. I hope you're excited because I am very excited. This is gonna be my first time ever customizing a pair of Nike Dunk Lows. Don't ask me where I found them, but I found an all white pair of Nike Dunk Lows. So today, I'm gonna teach you how to customize these Nike Dunk Lows from A to B. So when you pick up you a pair, you'll figure out how to customize because there's a lot of customizers out here that watch my channel you know beginnerish intermediate I, I see a lot of customs y'all do okay make sure to keep sending me through instagram through the dms because i love every single one of them even all the people that's beginners to x i said x i meant intermediate you know what i'm saying i, I love all the customs y'all send me but today i'm gonna teach you how to customize these i think we're gonna keep it real simple real clean color blocking i think we're gonna go leather leather I think I'm gonna teach you how to do the inside of your um, your shoe sock liner. And, and we're gonna just keep it simple today. I may throw a stencil on there too, just to give it a little bit more, a little bit more, I was gonna say jazz, was, I don't know what I was gonna say. But you guys, sit back, relax, hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. With all that being said, let's get it. What's up, you guys? So, we're gonna be getting into these Nike Dunk Lows. Let me tell you, Nike Dunk Lows, they are very popular. It's a very popular shoe, and it came up all of a sudden. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say I'm an OG Nike Dunk lover, but I've been liking them since back then. So, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna honestly just gonna do our normal steps. We're going to prep. Now, first, take the laces out. Then, we're gonna prep. Then, we're gonna look for a design. And then, we're gonna paint them. Let's go. So you guys, y'all already know the very, very first step we got to do is take the laces out the shoes. Y'all already know that's what we got to do. Take the laces out. So you guys, we are at the computer. We're about to type in Google and we're about to just find some inspiration. Now see, this is the thing about custom dunk lows. See, this is the thing about Nike dunk lows, right? Just doing a simple colorway is very, very clean. And y'all know I love doing simple customs. You know what I'm saying? I love doing simple customs. So you guys, what I'm honestly thinking is we're gonna just do like a simple, simple, very simple custom like to the point where anybody I mean anybody can do this at home like anybody can all you gotta do is get your pair of dunks and do it um, I'm gonna go with a blue not really this blue but something similar to that and just show y'all you know exactly how to paint dunk lows like specifically I mean we can get into all the, the you know crazy details and all that stuff oh, I just shook it and do some crazy custom, but my channel, honestly, is for beginners. Like, I can do the more complex, which I'm gonna do, because I feel like a lot of people sleep on me. I feel like a lot of people really think that I can just do simple customs, but I can't do the other hard stuff. So, one day I'm gonna surprise y'all. I'm just telling y'all that right now. One day I'm gonna surprise you. Um, so, with all that being said, I think we're just gonna do a normal, basic colorway. We're gonna keep it real simple. So all the people that came here for the more complex stuff, I don't know what to tell you. We're gonna keep it just very simple. One color, colorway type of dunk. So with all that being said, let's get straight into it. So you guys, like I said, we'll be using this Angelus Blue and then I'm gonna mix it in with a little bit of white just to give it a lighter shade. And then all I'm gonna do is just shake it up, shake it up real good. So you guys, I'm gonna give you a little tip on painting shoes and painting these shoes in particular, what you wanna do is just take your time when painting. Take your time. And when you when you are painting, before even you picking up a paintbrush, just see 
would this paintbrush like fit like the shoe while I'm painting? Because that's how people usually mess up. You want to just go with a smaller brush when you're doing these little areas on the shoe. And also, you really don't want to do like very thick coats. You want to do light and fast. So you guys, I don't know if you realize, but sometimes I change up the paintbrush. You know what I'm saying? I change up the one I'm using just because it all depends on exactly like what part of the shoe I am painting. You know what I'm saying? I'm painting a smaller part, then I'll go get a smaller brush. So you guys, now it's time to paint the tongue. And the tongue is like a mesh um, texture. So basically what I did was I applied the GAC 900 and basically all that is is a fabric medium. And basically all I'm doing now is just painting on the tongue with the paint and the GAC 900 mixed together. Basically what it does, it allows, after, after the tongue dries and we heat set it, like heat set it, like take a heat gun and then like blow it, it's gonna be very soft it's not going to be hard because you don't want your you know you don't want the tongue to be hard you want it to be soft the same texture as before you painted it So you guys, hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Hopefully you learned something new about customizing guys, dunks. This is your boy Xavier Kiss. We come back today with another video. Today's video is pretty crazy. Today's video is pretty crazy. So we got all white Air Force Ones here. Y'all know my favorite. And we got a comic book, Marvel's Avengers. If you didn't know, I'm a big Marvel fan, honestly. And my favorite one gotta be Iron Man, hands down. But so you guys, we're gonna be taking this comic book and putting it on this shoe. You guys, shout out to that boy, Sam Alexer. I wanna give him full credit. He actually did a similar video to this, but he really didn't teach y'all how to do it. This is gonna be my first time, so I'm actually gonna do it with you all, and I'm gonna teach y'all how to do it at the same time. It's pretty much simple. I got all the materials, I got everything I need. Hopefully y'all enjoy today's video. With all that being said, let's get it. So you guys, I'm excited. So we got a pair of all white Air Force Ones. You already know my favorite. And here's the materials you will need. Air Force Ones, you will need a comic book. I got the Marvel Avengers. You will need Mod Podge. I said that wrong, Mod Podge. Some scissors. Of course, you can find this anywhere in your house. Um, some paint brushes. And also, you will need an X-Acto knife. So you guys, now you already know what we gotta do. We have to acetone the shoe. We have to prep the leather before we put the comic book on there. Okay, you guys, after we done prepping the shoe, now we got our comic book out. And basically all I'm doing is, I'm just looking through the comic book and figuring out what pieces I wanna put on the shoe. So I'm gonna just use my scissors and cut out the pieces and then make sure just to put them to the side.
So you guys, after I cut out the pieces, what I'm gonna do is actually cut these up a little bit smaller. You want them small to be able to put on into the shoe. So that's exactly what I'm about to do. So you guys, now it's time to actually put the comic book onto the shoe. And basically what I did is I dipped my brush, I put in the Mod Podge, and basically what I'm doing, I'm just painting, like, I'm just applying the glue onto the shoe. It looks like I'm painting, but I'm actually applying the glue. And now what you want to do is take your piece of your comic book and make sure you add some glue to that as well. You got to do both, you guys, so it actually sticks to the shoe. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm doing right now is adding the glue and then putting it onto the shoe. <laughs> Okay, so now we have the next step, and this step is very key. So what you want to do is take your X-Acto knife and basically cut out the excess comic book. And all you want to do is rub your finger across, like you know, at the right, right there at the midsole of the shoe, and basically like make sure you can um, see a crease where the line is at, so you know exactly where you're cutting it. That's what I did, and actually cutting really wasn't that bad. It really wasn't that hard, to be honest. And I'm just basically doing the same thing over and over again, applying the Mod Podge, putting the um, Mod Podge on the comic book piece, and then cutting it out with an X-Acto knife. <laughs> So you guys, I know you're wondering, what is that piece doing underneath the swoosh at the bottom half, you know, of the shoe? So basically, 
that i mean it happens when you kind of like take off pieces so but it's no big deal because basically all i'm doing is applying my podge and putting comic book right over top of it so it's no big deal at all you guys if you do this at home and you see that don't panic don't freak out just continue to do the same thing put your comic book over top and then just do the same steps <laughs> My brother's blood money bleed I got the game in the squeeze What would you do for some green? What would you do for some blues? Go pick and choose a fam of the cheese Some people not built like that Some people get killed like that Pressure like water, lights, mortgage I've been at bills like that Now I got kids like that No wonder why I feel like that Some people go to war for nothing Me, I go to war for something Some people need knives and guns Same ones just talk and run Some people go to war for nothing me, I got a wall for some. Some people need knives and guns. Same ones just talk and run. When my friends go, it was simple. When the ends low, switch the tempo. I got a right, I got a heart. I won't die, I'ma fight, I go down. So hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Look, these comic book Air Force One go so hard. You know what I'm saying? The thing I want to do next, kinda, is like, I want to take like newspaper and do it. I've seen people do this on like skateboard shoes. Where they take newspaper and put it on here too and then put a design over top. I think that is also sweet. I think that is a very cool idea. But these came out really, really nice. Now, you guys, was it tricky? It wasn't really tricky, but the thing of it is you had to take your exacto knife and just cut around, you know, to take off the excess comic book. So you guys, on a, from a 1 to 10, how difficult this was, probably was like a 5, like 5, 6. You know what I'm saying? I just want y'all to go try. I want you to go get you a pair of shoes. Go get your pair of Jordan 1 Lows, Jordan 1 Highs, and then just put, you know, your favorite comic books on there. All my comic book fans, you know what I'm saying? So you guys, with all that being said, this your boy Xavier Kicks. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn post notifications on. And make sure you follow my Instagram below. We're gonna, we've been doing giveaways, especially cash out giveaways. We're going to do more giveaways in the future for shoes and all that good stuff and, and, and etc. With all that being said, this your boy Xavier Kicks. I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. Peace.